Hi everyone, uh, Sylvain Fromont from iMaker here and I'm here today to speak about Anisoprint. Anisoprint is the latest in carbon fiber 3D printing. Now, carbon fiber is not quite new. You probably have seen a lot of carbon fiber in field polymers. Uh, it's even trendy this year. Uh, I've seen so many PACF25, PACF30, which typically means polyamide, which is nylon, filled with carbon fiber up to 25% or 30%. To be honest, that is not real carbon fiber. That is chopped carbon fiber. Carbon fiber chopped to usually quarter of a millimeter, like 250 microns. And those micro fibers are filled into the polymer. And then when you print with it, you end up with a print that is slightly stronger, slightly tougher, but to be honest, not by this much. Here we're talking about something different. We're talking about long fiber. Long fiber is this. This is true fiber, true carbon fiber. By the way, you could also use basalt fiber. You could also use glass fiber. And so that fiber is a real long one. And the way it works with this machine is very unique. The polymer here, the roll of polymer, goes into the chamber, melting chamber, and the carbon fiber goes through it, right? So it's not like a second head dedicated to the fiber. It's the same head that takes the polymer and the fiber together in the same place. And which means that the fiber, when it goes out, is completely embedded into the polymer, giving it, guess what, more strength. A part that is made with this machine for the same shape has about 20 times more strength. Like 20 times is not two or three times, right? 20 times is a lot. So it means you can really go from prototyping the shape of it to prototyping the actual part, testing the part in its dedicated environment. Here, this part here, for example, is a part of a seat for airplane. With this one in particular, you can really mount it and test it and do a crash test if you like, which you would not be able to do with a basic polymer. Another thing that's worth mentioning is this. If you look at this part, you can see clearly the white here is the polymer and the black lines in there they are the infield. Other machines in the market would only be able to do the outer side, the outer shell with the long fiber, but the infield would only be classic polymer. That's different with anisoprint, just because of that. Anisoprint has the capability to use the long fiber everywhere, not just around it, but also inside. You could end up with that part which is so much stronger, because guess what? If you had strength on this one moving in that direction, you'd inevitably end up with some squeezing here. Whereas on this one, the strength is in every direction because of this. So think about it depending what you need for your uh, parts, but this is key. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention with this machine is it's completely open when it comes to materials. You don't really have to buy your material from an isoprint. You can source it from wherever you like. Exception, the fiber. The long fiber so far you need to buy from an isoprint through us. But the other two filaments that are there in the back, show you. You can source them wherever you like. So, for example, you can use one of them being a PACF, if you like. You can mix chop fibers and long fibers together. The other one can be, what about TPU, if you need some flex? So, source it. And it's important if you are in one of those industries where you even need to use your own material. Like, for example, you are in the railways industry, automotive, aerospace, whichever. 
and you have some materials that have been approved, right? So you can still use that particular material with this machine because it's open. Another thing I wanted to mention, if you are into security, uh, say atomic, say military, this machine doesn't need you to be connected to the internet full time like others do. This one, you can be behind two or three firewalls, it will still work fine for you. No need to share your secrets with anyone in the world. Um, last thing here, I want to take a minute to tell you about the name of the machine. So Anisoprint, I mentioned a few times, is the brand, is the name of the manufacturer, the vendor. Uh, the name of the model here is Anisoprint A4. A4 stands for the A4 format for a sheet of paper, which typically, as you know, is 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters. That's the size of the bed that you can print on. For our US-based friend, uh, you're talking about 8 inches by 12 inches here. Uh, typically, A4 is similar to letter in uh, the US. There is another model of it, which is called Anisoprint A3. And typically, guess what? Anisoprint A3 prints double the size. So you're looking at 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters or 16 by 12 inches for our American friends. So, long story short, I covered a few points that I thought were important about that machine. I probably have missed quite a few of them. Uh, you're more than welcome to talk to us and ask for more questions. Uh, use the comments below, use info at imaker.com to send your questions. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer. Our engineers are waiting for your questions. And um, hopefully, thank you for your time. And hopefully we see you next time with more videos on more machines.